Hi everyone. In this webinar, we are going to discuss timetable module in Fetina. For that, first of all, we need to log in as admin because admin has the power to create timetable within Fetina. Right now, I am logging as admin by the default username and password. Under academics, we have to select timetable option. In prior to creating a timetable within Fedina, we have to perform some settings within Fedina. It begins with the creation of the class timing sets. For that, I have to select the manage class timing set. And these all are the timing set that I have already created. If you are creating for the first time, you have to go for new option. And here you have to provide the name or nomenclature. Once it got saved, it will be shown within the table. And we have to go for view class timings for creating the class timings within the class timing set that we have created. I'm selecting the view class timing option. And here we have to add the class timing for this class timing set G1 by selecting the option add class timing. Here we have to give the class timing name. Let's say I am adding it as period one. And here we have to select the interval start time 10 o'clock. And then time as one hour, 11 o'clock respectively and click on save. Now we have created one class timing and I am going to create one more class timing for this class timing set by selecting add class timing option. Here we can give the name, say period two. And here we have to the start, select the start time as well as end time as from 11 to 11 a.m. And the end time as 12 p.m. And click on save. Now we have created two class timings under this class timing set. And if you want to create class class timing as break option or interval option. We have that option within Fedina. I am going to create how to add break option or interval option within Fedina. First of all, we have to select the add class timing option and we have to give the name as break or interval. Let's say I'm giving the name as break and the institution or this class has break starting from 12 that is 13 and if it is break we have to enable the checkbox so that it will be that particular time interval will be allotted as break or interval under fade in a time table and click on save now i am going to create one more period and here we are, I have given the name as period three and from 13 to 14, one o'clock to two o'clock. Since I have given the break time for one, in, uh, one hour, I am starting the class after that. That is from one o'clock to two o'clock and click on save. Now we have created the class timings. And if you want to go for edit, editing the time slot means yeah, we can go for edit option and we can go for editing the class timing that we have already created. Once we go for class timing set, we can go for set weekdays and class timing sets within Fedina. It helps to set the weekday as well as the class timing set for a particular course as well as batch within a Fedina. 
for that first of all we need to select a course say grade 1 I am creating this class timing set and particular weekday for this course and batch and the left hand side we can see the weekdays available and here we have to select the class timing set for this particular course as well as the batch here I am selecting the weekdays from Monday to Friday if you want to uncheck means we can go for unchecking the particular weekday and here we have to go for the class timing set selection we can go for change option and here we can select the class timing set say g1 that i have created and for similar way we can go for selecting the same class timing set for tuesday and so on in fedina we can also go for selecting the different class timing set for a particular course or batch here we have selected the class timing set till thursday and if for a particular institution or a particular bad course having a different class timing set for a particular weekday for example if friday they are having different uh, class timing set for a particular interval of time they need to select the different class timing for that we can have the option we can go for change and we can select the different class timing set here i have created some class timing set that i have already created and we can select the class timing set if you don't create the class timing set other than the created one already we can go for creating the class timing set and we can select the class timing for set now and we can go for date from which this particular class timing will be applicable for this particular batch right now i have selected it as 20th october and click on save now the week days and class time sets get modified once these settings are done we can go for creating timetable select the create timetable option here we have to select the particular range for the creation of the timetable i have selected it for just one month duration and before creating timetable we have to make sure that in fedi now we can't create more than one timetable for a particular range of time so we have to make sure that no multiple timetable will not be there for a particular range of time or a particular range of date within fedina if it is there means it will shows the notification that you have already a timetable exit for this particular range of time or duration and we can go for create option now the timetable has created from 20th october to 20th november and once we created the timetable we can select the batch i am going to select the batch from the drop down here i have selected the particular batch and this all are the class timing set that we have created for this particular batch from monday to thursday they are having the similar time duration and if you want to select a particular subject to a particular time we can go for select subject and here i have selected one subject as english and if you want to select this subject for to the particular slot we have to select the particular slot and we have to drag this particular employee to that particular slot now this slot are occupied by the particular subject similarly we can allocate another subject say max now it got occupied by the max and we can select the other slots and go for selecting the subject and drag and drop the particular employee to that particular slot now the slot get occupied by this particular subject and the employee who got assigned for this particular subject 
now we can go for selecting the remaining slot for the particular time table select the subject and drag the employee associated with the particular subject to the particular slot now it got occupied and I am selecting the remaining slot and selecting the particular subject similarly I follow the same drag and drop now it got occupied now the timetable has got created and we have slotted the particular subject to the particular slot within the timetable now we can go for view timetable option once we have created the timetable we can view the timetable by selecting the particular timetable that we have created and select the batch for which the timetable has created this is how the timetable that we have created looks like and we have an option to create the PDF report as well as the CSV report for the same now we can go for edit timetable option this one are the timetable that I have already created and this one is the latest created timetable and if you want to go for editing the range for a particular timetable that we have already created we can go for edit range option and we can edit the range between the timetable but we make sure that if we go for editing the range it can't able to overlap the timetable that we have already created and similarly we can go for editing the timetable entries by selecting the edit timetable entries option and we can delete the timetable by using delete option now we have an option called teachers timetable here we have to select the particular timetable and it shows the list of the teachers associated with the particular timetable and here it shows the employee name as well as the department and the timetable associated with the list of teachers shown in the left hand side for we can go for selecting the each employee and it will show the timetable associated with the particular employee here we can see the time duration as well as the particular day and we can see the department also from the right top here also we have the option to generate the PDF report as well as the CSV report of the same now we can go for the option work allotment here we can select the employees for the various subject within an institution these are the various courses as well as batches within an institution and these are the subject associated with the particular course or batch and here we have an option to select the employees for this particular subject if we have already associated the employees within the uh, for, for a particular subject it is already sh shown in the drop down otherwise we can go for selecting the employees from the drop down for example I am going for this particular batch that I have already created and here I can I can select the employee for this particular subject by selecting the select the employee drop down and I can select the particular employee for this subject similarly we can select the another employee for this particular economic subject likewise we can go for selecting the employees for a particular subject within a course this is how work allotment is helpful by this way we can select only one employees for the particular subject associated with the course if you want to select one more employee that means more than one employee associated for a particular subject within a course we have an option called assign multiple teachers and it will show an option to select a batch here I can select a batch and select a subject uh, this all are, these are this is the employee that I have already assigned for this particular subject within this batch if I need to assign one more employee for this subject I can select from the department and I can select him by selecting the assign option now these two employees got assigned for this particular subject within the batch this is how we can perform 
work allotment for a particular subject now we can go for the remaining section within the timetable institutional timetable it helps to helps to view the timetable entry for a particular institution we can view the institution timetable for a particular date we can also go for past day as well as we can go for future day also it will list the timetable applicable to the batches within an institution right now it is showing the particular batch as well as the particular subject this is the time interval for this particular batch g1 for this day 20th october and this is the employee associated with the particular subject for this subject this is how institution timetable helps to view the timetable for an institution now we can go for timetable tracker option and here we have to go for swap timetable it helps to swap the timetable between the employees for a particular batch for a particular subject first of all we need to select a batch and here we have to select the date we can select the date from here and for this particular time is class timing 10 to 11 teacher named Rajesh has taken English subject if he is not available for this particular day we can replace the particular employee with another employee of same department or another department by going change option we can select the department here right now I am going to select one more employee from the same department to replace the Rajesh who is absent for this particular time slot I have selected the department as English and I am going to select the employee for this particular department Harsha K and for this particular subject we can either select the same subject or we can go for different subject I have selected the English and click on OK now the employees I just go to replace it or change it to Harsha K for this particular timing slot on this particular day this is how swap timetable option is helpful now we can go for swap timetable report it helps to generate the swap timetable report that we have already created we can select the range and we can go for search option this shows the swap timetable report for this particular day the employee Harsha got the replacement as one place one plus this means that he has taken one more additional subject than he already assigned and the Rajesh from the department English has taken one less subject or one less period than he already he got assigned we can go for view detail option to go for further details and it will shows that right, the particular employee got replaced by Harsha K on this particular date for this time slot this is how view detail help, helps to view the swap timetable report we can also go for export CSV option here and now we can go for the last section classroom allocation it helps to allocate the rooms for a particular class first of all we want to go for manage building here we can go for creating buildings for a particular class we can go for add building option to add buildings right now I will show you how I have created the building to block by going add building option here I have to give the building name I have created the building name as block 2 and click on save now the building name has got created and it will be, it will be displayed in the table and we can go for rooms within the particular building block by using add rooms we can create the rooms for this particular building I will show you how we can create the rooms for this particular building block first of all we need to give the room name and capacity for that one how many students can be 
occupied for this particular room and click on save likewise we can create the similar room for this under the particular block and this is how i have created the room and capacity that's all about the manage building and we can go for allocate classroom by selecting allocate we can allocate to the sole subject to particular room here we will have two option weekly as well as date specific right now we are going for weekly specific option and here we have to select the timetable and go for view option it will displace the batch and the subject for this particular day on monday for this batch having this subject and for tuesday this all other subject and wednesday this all other subject and these are the room here we have to allocate the room for this batch g1 right now i have to select the building block i have i am selecting the block 2 and this one are the rooms under this building block now we can allocate this subject for room a as i am dragging this room a and here we have to keep and it will show the notifications that do you want to allocate if you want to allocate means we can go for continue option otherwise we can go for cancel option right now i am selecting it as continue option so that the room a got allocated for this particular subject similarly we can go for selecting the room b and go for continue option now it got allocated for the room b and so on likewise we can perform the room allocation similarly we can go for date specific option and we can allocate the rooms within fedina this is how room allocation is done in fedina that's all about the timetable module within fedina